Good morning. This is my project for DBMS, Dairy Farm Shop Management System. Basically, it is related with the shop which are distributing or selling the milk and milk related products. The objective of the project are help the milk seller to keep their records, give them useful reports and make the small shop being the digitalize. Basically there are two users. One is admin and second one is staff. Let's move to the demo part. This is the login page where admin can login or staff can login. If we put admin in the username, this is the dashboard of the admin. This is the profile where we are updating the admin's profile, name, username, email and phone number. There is the settings and logout. In the setting part, we can change the password. There is the reports, the categories, companies, product and total sales, today it sells, 7 days sales and all. There are the categories. In that categories, we can manage the category and add the category. Or if we want to delete some category, if it is not available, then we can just delete the category. And it is updated on the reports of the dashboard. We can add the category. We just type their category name and category code in the blocks and just click on the submit button the category is added it's popped up and it is updated on the dashboards report manage the cat companies and add the companies there are four companies are there and if we want some companies will be added then we just click on add and add the company name and submit button it is already been added and it is updated uh, it is updated on the dashboard five companies seven categories and six products similarly we can add the product or remove the product or edit any product from the list In this project there are the reports so I am adding the five to six reports for it first one is how many categories are there how many companies are there how many products are there and what is the per purchase status of the sell or stocks Similarly, we can add the product. First, we select the category, then company, and then product name and product price per item. And click on submit. It is, it is successfully added and it is displayed on the dashboard. How many categories are there? And how many products are there? Let's move to the cart. We search the product. Product is mozzarella cheese. We just search it. We add in the cart. Another thing is milk. We search for milk. We add the Amul milk two packets. And then just we proceed 
with the customer name and customer mobile number then we click on the payment mode and uh, we are creating created the invoice successfully in the invoice all the details are shown we if we want to print any invoice then just click on the print button i am just demonstrating the pay you can pay with the payment gateway uh, select the amount then the e customer's email id phone number and click on the payment button or pay button then the select mode i am selecting the upi id i just type the upi id and just pay click on the pay button we just select on the google pay and the receive one request and this is the payment successful message and we got the email email screenshot is there and then this is the payment method and successful payment modes for one invoice if we want to check all the invoices then just click on invoices and go to the first page second page or next page there are 10 entries on the page we can check or go through all the invoices if we want a report then just click on the reports then add uh, dates in between the reports or the invoices of the all all records are found if we want to sell reports then for whole month it is given and it's summed up and gives the total monthly amount which we sold in that month that's all in the project next thing is for the staff login and the staff part is there so we just type the username username is yogesh and the password and click the button on the top right corner there is the profile management the staff can manage their own profile with the passwords and their usernames there is the dashboard there are seven companies five categories and seven products it is the restricted to edit any company or product we just move to the search product add the product in the cart and make the payment and print the invoices this whole part is covered under admin in the video the same part is there for the staff staff having restricted rights for the management purpose Bye bye, Tata.